How's it going? This is going to be a, a development log for the new game uh, I'm developing with uh, my partner and uh, perhaps a couple other people. So this is day one. This is uh, first day of development, just testing out some uh, basic concepts, putting together some uh, uh, scripts for doing different types of actions, different things uh, like interacting with things, uh, fighting things, destroying things. So and then basic movement system. So I'm just going to go in and uh, do a little run through play to show you what has been done so far after one day of development on this uh, game. Uh, working title is Era, so see how it goes. Alright, so I have basic movement, basic animation. I'm not entirely 100% on the um, character animation and all that yet. I'll go through a couple of the reasons why. Um, we have some objects that are um, you know, there's some phys physics on them where we can run into them. The trees have been built so there's a little bit of dimension to that so you can walk behind them. Also a little bit of dimension with the uh, character where you can walk sort of in front of objects, right? We have some plants there. Most of the stuff here is not destructible, but we do have some destructible plants. But I do not have a weapon at this time, so I can't do that. We'll get to that in a second. Um, here's a sign I can interact with with using an action key. I'm using E for this, uh, so it just has a sign. It freezes play while the while the dialogue is up, and you just hit the button again to um, release the dialogue and start moving again. Uh, next up is chests. There's a chest in here which might have a key or something important in there, but you can't get to it. So we'll just say you go to this chest. I don't have this complete uh, yet, but if I hit the action key, it opens the chest. I did receive a, um, a sword when that happened. There isn't an animation for it yet, but now that that's done, I can hit space for my attack and I have an attack uh, animation. And uh, the system I built is a completely interchangeable weapon system. So the sword is an actual object all on its own and it's animated in conjunction with the character. So we could switch this out for any type of weapon, an axe or whatever, just switches out. And it has its own uh, area in which it does damage. The character itself does no damage. It, it can take damage from an enemy and die. But the sword actually deals damage. So I can go up to a destructible object. These trees can't do anything to it, the chest, nothing. The only thing here that's destructible are, are the plants, so I can, I can actually uh, swipe and hit these plants. Um, now I'm going to show you uh, one of the reasons why um, the character design is a little, needs a little tweaking. Uh, it's a very tall character design, and the animation on the sides, the sword can... Um, uh, well, can do some uh, some damage because the sword is protruding out the top. Also, uh, I don't have the the layering fix there, but the sword is actually going through the top and can do some damage. But the problem is from uh, below or from uh, from above. You see, the sword does not move that far away from the character. So if you are fighting someone from above, the uh, the enemy has a much better chance of hitting you. And it's very hard to hit them because your sword, which does the damage, is not really clearing your body. So that's sort of the main issue with that, with this style of design in this type of a game. Is anytime you're coming from above down, um, the object which does the damage is not going to be able to uh, hit the enemy as easily as if you were in any of the other positions. So I'm just going to go down and if you come right tight to something, then we can swing and hit it. So that's how that sort of works. And same with interacting, uh, you can go from all different sides, I can interact there. This actually released, um, I believe, a, a key or a shield or something, I can't remember. But So that's pretty much it for the game so far, dealing with a few different things, tweaking things to see how they work. Obviously animation needs a little bit of work, but that's going to that's gonna come over time. And then have to build out the inventory systems and um, the level uh, generation and all that kind of stuff. But Good, good start for day one. Did a lot of uh, stuff. This all is being uh, built sort of from scratch. All these different uh, abilities and actions within the program, all using scripting. So, takes some time to do, but it's coming along nicely. Anyways, uh, talk to you later. Day one is done. Thanks.